We have the resources we need to make Shovel, but if we could get a little bit more, we could bring the technical aspects of the film, like the camera and the audio, up to the same level of quality as the artistic aspects of the film. So, if you'd like to help us make Shovel everything it can be, please consider donating to our crowdfunding campaign. We're giving away prizes to those who do. Information can be found here or at shovelfilm.com. It's weird, and I think that's cool. The artwork is bold and very colorful and in your face, and I think that's awesome. And the elements of the film are going to be a lot like that. Very non-traditional, not cliche whatsoever, but at the same time, tackle something that a lot of people can relate to. I read like five lines and I said, I have to do this movie. I have to do this movie because it's our relationship. Shovel is William's story. He's been living in Betty's house and Betty's life, hiding with her from everything that's dark or scary. The film is uh, really interesting. It's pretty different than anything that I've done before. It's really detailed and it gets into um, a lot of dark emotions and kind of what people feel and what we try to hide and suppress in our everyday life. It's much deeper than it appears on the surface. I, I feel like there's a certain darkness that everybody carries around with them and you either sink or you swim. Life's not all about happiness and sunshine and happy endings. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of rough stuff. He wakes up one night and realizes that the life spent hiding is not worth living. So he starts digging through all the dark things in the hopes that he'll find something. Something better for him and better for them. My character has suffered some trauma in her life and has taken to hiding within herself to sort of deal with everything. She is at the point in her life where she's aware that her problems are there, but she's in complete denial of them, does not want to face them. It's weird to call him uh, William because he's not William. He's me. He's Tony DeMille. We're, we are these characters. That's why we get cast in these things. People are like, oh my god, that's him, I found him. I play Anne, who is sort of... She's, William, she's like William, but she's given up. She's been out in the darkness, she's tried to survive out there, and she just couldn't. And she is a person whose time has stopped. Betty is a really complex character. On the surface, she looks kind of crazy and she's happy, but really it's just a coping mechanism for her so she doesn't have to think about the darkness and the kind of sadness that she has inside of her. At the same time, has holds this belief that, you know, if some man could just come along in her life that that would fix all the problems in the world. And then when William shows up, she he brings with him his baggage and the darkness and fears that she's been avoiding out of her own life and she's torn between keeping his companionship and having to face everything that she's been pushing away for so long. She even has a line where she's just like, are you still going to use this shovel? And, and my character, William, I like to say I, and so I say yes. She's like, well, you got to go and you're just like, that's like, that's the film right there. This digging on Earth's things Betty can't face. So she gives him an ultimatum. Get rid of the shovel, settle back in with her, or leave. So that's why I like the idea of the shovel, because you want to, you get to a certain point in your life where you're just like, there has to be something more than just wake up every day, go to work, marry a girl, have 3.5 kids. She sees the fear that William has, but she also sees the hope and she thinks it's kind of ridiculous. She wants to believe in that hope, but she she can't anymore. She's she's done. It's the pursuit of happiness. Life is a pursuit of happiness, and that's where the happiness lies. In that pursuit. In the in the pursuit of the goal. Where you feel like, oh I'm gonna get there, 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 I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. So it's complicated. Life is complicated. William has to decide what his life will be, and if it's worth risking that life to save it. Betty 
is trying to hide herself from the darkness and she does everything in her power to pretend like it doesn't exist. But even though she's pretending that it doesn't exist, it's always near her and it's always inside of her. And she tries her best to just push it aside, but she can't. What was that? Thank <laughs> you. 